Hello and welcome back to Europa Universus 4. I am Lord Fond here playing as the mighty Prussia. So we're going to catch up and tech a little bit here. We are now officially a great power, which is awesome. Um, however, we did just join the um, Protestant League. So we are losing alliances with Austria, which is of course something that was inevitably going to happen. Uh, which is a little frustrating, but that's just the way it goes. I would like to try and pull some other strong nations into the HRE, which is not working that well at the moment. Um, maybe I should target England over Spain for the moment. This is a England that is not doing particularly well. They're not a great power. They haven't killed Scotland. They have an alliance with Portugal, but that's about it. They've had a rough game looking at them. They've had, you know, rebels almost break them like twice. And we're going to lose our alliance with Poland in a minute. Problem when everybody joins one alliance instantly. There's not much I can do. Most of these people are joining because they dislike me now. Yep, there's, yep, there's the... Muscovites, because they've rivaled me. So let's change this to Muscovy. Just thinking of any potential way to try and get more allies into the HRE. Better break my embargo on Milan, put it on the Russians. Get that military tech, that should help. Speaking of military tech stuff, we should build up another army if possible. Uh, we've got about 13, okay. And how many of these other ones do we have? We have three. And then we tend to have four in it, right? We can't afford it all yet, so two more cannon are going to be needed. Figure we might as well get close to our maximum force limit as we can. That way we'll be... There we go, alliance offer from the Ottomans, exactly what we needed. I need one more month here. And then I gotta obviously merge all these units together. I suppose I could have done it from the template, but... I don't feel much point in creating a template I'm only gonna use once, so... Okay, how strong are the Ottomans? 143,000. Okay, so they could take on Austria. I could take on Poland. Muscovy is going to be a problem. France could take them on. Um, can I ally France? Not quite. Why? France dislikes us. Okay, improve relations with France. I'd like if I could get England. Oh, England sucks. Why do I want England? <laughs> England's like horrendously bad. Um, really, I just need more allies. I'd like to pull Bohemia in, but I think... Yeah, as time goes on, more people join the other side. Is there not a way to tell? Really wish there was a way to tell who's in one alliance versus the other. I don't think there is. It's too bad. Um, Lubeck is in the same alliance as me, which is interesting. Brunswick is in the same alliance with me, must be. Yeah. Everybody who's in the same alliance with me now likes me. Bohemia, Denmark, and Silly. I wouldn't mind trying to force Denmark out of this whole alliance. Friesland must have joined the other side. Yes. Okay. Well, we do have a port, so we could technically attack them. Denmark, Dortmund, Dithmarschen, okay. Lundberg, Freeland. 
I need to attack somebody at this point. I need to weaken their alliance a bit. Really wish I could tell who's in my alliance. The Ottomans make up one heck of a difference. France is going to make up another large amount. I really wish I could pull Spain into this whole mess. But they're more likely to join the other side. More people are joining the other side. Um, is Naples is independent. Could I somehow pull them in? Next month we'll should be able to get France as an ally. There we go. Some ways I wish France was the war leader. They've got so many more alliances than I do. Okay. This is the France that's not doing overwhelmingly well either. Defensive ideas on them are going to be strong. So that's 200,000 roughly, plus me 60,000. That's going to be 100, 140, 200. We're going to be outnumbered. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to win this, to be honest. I'm not really counting all these minor nations. They're only going to contribute a small amount to the war anyway. Like Finland, five troops. Yeah, it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. Okay, who would I want to push out? If I could push out Russia, I'd be really happy. They're allied to Austria already. Denmark would be a nice target. I want to do that after attack Friesland. You know, I could probably beat Friesland in a war. It might be worth a shot attacking them, forcing them out. Okay. You to there, you to there. Yes. You to here. Friesland, allied to Denmark, Dortmund, and Dithmarschen. Okay, so that could mean I can potentially take this as well. The issue is going to be making the crossing before they get their fleet out. Lundberg, Friesland. Uh, we don't really want to beat up Lundberg at the moment, do we? No, I think we want these guys. We're going to have 39. We do outnumber them. I think we can win this. Uh, I'm going to need military access from these guys, though. And then quick invasion, hopefully. Who else are we fighting? Dortmund. Where are you, Dortmund? You're down there. I might send you down here. No. Denmark, Dithmarsh, and Dortmund. We can't actually get there at the moment. But that's fine, because look at the suffering of the Danish fleet due to the hostile waters. That's glorious. Um, you know what? We're going to go take them out. This should work if I can do this right. If we can piece out Denmark out of the HRE alliance, or at least weaken them. That'll make me a little bit more confident. We don't really care about being HRE Emperor, but it's going to make life easy if we don't have to struggle with uh, it being a Catholic Empire. Embrace the reputation. Yeah, we still outnumber them. This should work out well. And we can also just watch as their fleet takes attrition, which is lovely. Honestly, that would work better if we had our own fleet, but... Clearly, we don't. But still, it makes it harder for them to blockade our lands. 
pretty useful as well. I have to get military access to Hamburg. There we go. Oh, great. They trapped my army here. Okay, I can get out, though. Let's say, I would be very annoyed if they trapped my army up there. Um, technically, I can ally England. Or I can royal marry them. I'd like to pull them into the HRE war. Um, I guess I'll royal marriage them. I'll lose my royal marriage with Austria soon, and I, once the war is over, I can get rid of my military access from some of the other places. Okay, Dortmund is going to become Protestant and give me some cash out of this. Apparently just four gold, but at least they're going to be Protestant now. I don't know if that forces them out of the war or what, but it does hurt them. You're going up there. Siege of Raval is going in my favor. Really, we only we only need a couple provinces, right? Ideally, we take two from or one from them, and that's about it. We only want the Ost Friesland, really, and then land from the Danes, possible, and Dithmarschen. Got to keep it all connected if possible. The rise of Prussia. Hopefully it's a thing. Um, Provence is involved. That's 24,000. That's nice. Come on, England. How high do I have to get you to get you to actually join my, my alliance? Uh, Dithmarschen has fallen. Can I take Dithmarschen without dying to a coalition? Not really. Hmm. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Well, I can at least force them to be Protestant, so that's something. I can probably cancel my access through here for now. Bremen's happy with me, yeah, because they're on my same side. Ay ay ay. The religious wars change everything in Europe. Poland's no longer a great power. Awesome. There has been no losses on their side, and they're still losing the war. Gotta love peace deals where they don't even try wars where they don't even try and fight you. Uh, Diplo power, that's nice. We really need is a larger army in some ways. Over governing capacity again. It's like I can't get anywhere right now. Oh, bother. Bother, bother, bother. I guess we'll just eat it for now and just focus on the reforms rather than trying to keep governing capacity under control where clearly I can't do it. Maybe we can get Denmark out of here. We've taken a good amount of Danish lands. Almost. A little bit longer. They haven't even tried to fight me, which is interesting. Okay, that would piece them out. It wouldn't do anything to their other stuff, though. And 
and they're still in the call they're still in the league everybody's joined the league against me that's the downside of being hated is everybody opposes you Do that. Uh, actually, let's just do outraged countries for the time being. Uh, do we want to start a coalition to die to? Is the question. Um, I could do one province. And that's it. HRE expans expansion penalties are just so painful to do deal with. Um, I think Loomberg's on the other side, right? They are. How badly did that make people hate me? Pretty badly, actually. Huh. You'd think taking one province wouldn't cause as much troubles. Funny part is now that there are some nations fighting for the Catholics who are actually Protestant. Crush the peasantry versus Friesland. What? What happened there? Oh, they're a peasant's republic too, just like the Thmartians. Interesting. We are going to refuse the unlawful territory demands. I don't think they can actually attack me, which means I am the only one who can start this mess of a war. I don't see how we win this. I really don't. Not unless I happen to strike while one nation's getting killed by the others. The Ottomans are 21,000 gold in debt. My gosh, what have you been doing, Ottomans? Might be able to go after Bren uh, Bohemia a little bit. It's just so hard to expand. I can only take like two provinces each war. And that is while being over my governing capacity. Okay. Well, we've still focused admin. We've still got a pretty good ruler on the throne. He should die soon. And we're going to get um, admin ideas, which if we can complete, will put us in a much better position. Give us 25% governing capacity back. Can hardly wait. Oh, he's greedy. So we got free money from our ruler being greedy. Cool. Poland's announced me as their new rival. Typical, typical, typical. Really wish I could attack you without... Oh, I can attack Poland without triggering Austria. Question is, can I beat Poland? Probably. I do have a ridiculous army right now, but again, it's Poland, so they're strong in their own right. Sweden would also be involved. It's going to be a risk any way I do it. Well, we have claims on the Polish lands, so we could take some of those. And then that would get us claims on the Bohemian lands. I really wish we could get the Ottomans to help, but how far they are in debt, it doesn't mean they're going to get out of it anytime soon. I think they might just be in a death spiral at this point. Breaking a truce. When does the truce wear out? France is defender of the Catholic faith. Interesting. Uh, truce wears out in two years. So until then, let's drill the heck out of our armies and see if we can get 
250 army professionalism. Worst comes to worst, I can always hire a general and that'll push me over the limit. Better cavalry. Oh, our air died again. How do we keep losing all our good airs? You are terrible air. Fire. You're fired. Get lost. Jeez. What's it take to us to have a good heir live to take the throne? Clearly something I don't have. You get 80 each every mont. There's a typo. You gain 0.79 every mont due to... Um, I think you forgot the N in month. Or the H in month. Um, what do we want to do? Uh, let's summon the diet. Wants me to make Riga a vassal. Or have tons of cash. I don't want any of these. Yay. Um, does Riga have allies? Riga does have lots of allies. Um, where the heck is that province you want me to conquer? At the hands of the Bohemians. I was considering attacking Bohemia, but... Actually, yeah, let's attack Bohemia. We might as well. We've got a couple years to Poland. We've got a claim on it. We can definitely beat them in an open battle, and it would only be Denmark as an ally. And we've learned that Denmark is less than threatening, really. Speaking of which, I need to end my military access through Hamburg. Uh, do we have any other military access? No. Just royal marriage with England, who we want to marry or ally. Hopefully that'll drag them into this. We'll see. Um, we're with Bohemia, I guess. I know, we're expanding way past our governing capacity, but I don't see what other option we really have at the moment. If we wait long enough, we're not going to be able to do anything, so... Cologne would join. Uh, yeah, that would make it a little bit easier. You should have stayed Hussite, Bohemia. You wouldn't have to suffer through this, then. That called them to arms, but okay. Speaking of which, I should probably put some better forts out once I can afford it. Denmark might be... I might be able to get rid of Denmark relatively quickly here. Yeah. Okay. We'll risk sending an army up to deal with Denmark. Truce with Austria is over. They could attack me. I don't think they will, because I don't border them. Well, let's get a better fort in Berlin, at least. Cologne, I have no idea why you were that dumb, but congratulations on getting staff wiped. Completion of the European beaver, interestingly enough. Mm. Fur is more expensive. That's good for Russia, not so good for everybody else. Um, we've taken that. Can I peace out you, Denmark? You were looking pretty unstable before. Mm. Almost. Okay. What more do I have to do to get Denmark out of this? Take, occupy two more provinces. That's doable. Uh, let's quick barrage that. Uh, almost. Still not quite enough. Denmark is holding out a little bit better than I thought they would. And I'm going to lose a fort, which is a problem. Uh, 
Okay, that should be it for Denmark. Nope, still not. Wow, Denmark really does not want to leave this war. There we go. Get you out. I couldn't get anything from them, so it was just easier to get them out of the war. There we go. Grab that. Start on admin. I think we're going to probably have to take espionage ideas just so we can actually expand somewhere in this game. We'll go for a tiny bit longer just because I want to um, win this war. Boy, the uh, Bohemians are enthusiastic about this. Yeah, it's a joke. That was a joke. They had no possibility of fighting me right now. Awesome. That's really good to know. Okay. Uh, let's get what we can from Bohemia. I may do something like that. Force them to return land, release a vassal, and give me a province or two. Uh, I'd prefer two provinces, to be honest. And then you to release somebody. And then some cash. Oh wait, can I humiliate you? Not yet. Okay, we're going to stop here. Next episode, I'll try and humiliate them, get power projection and monarch points. And then uh, we'll break them up, gain some land, and then we'll see where the Holy War stuff is. Anyway, thank you guys all for watching. Bye for now.